2015, and I think it's as good a time as any to celebrate Hamilton's musical heritage. Most people don't know that Hamilton has uh, got a great blues community. King Biscuit Boy is from Hamilton, Ontario. We had a true musical family in the Washington brothers. Jackie Washington, for one, was a mentor of mine. Uh, at a time when musicians were traveling between Toronto and Buffalo, you know, Hamilton was a great stomping ground for Duke Ellington, Count Basie, and Billy Holiday. And when they came to town, it was the Washington family that accommodated them. The history of music is so rich in this town. And it's continuing with bands like Monster Truck and the Arkells. Before them, there was Junk House and the Killjoys. Before them, there was Teenage Head and the Forgotten Rebels. Before them, there was Crowbar and King Biscuit Boy. There's always uh, a fantastic torch for Hamilton musicians to pick up. I think it's our heritage that inspires us. I'd like to say that it's a revival. A revival and a celebration of our music and the fact that the Junos are coming to town is giving us a reason to kind of go down to the riverside, all of us together, and uh, you know, baptize one another in our, in our Hamilton musical heritage. The, um, the idea that Hamilton musicians are separate from the rest of the Canadian music community, the same way Winnipeg musicians are. We're a bit of an outpost, even though we're right beside Toronto. We uh, have a childlike courage uh, in our art, and we have an imagination that we can consider our sword and our shield. It's an imagination, I guess that's our courage. It, 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 it's what separates us from the pack. I wanted to make that point that, uh, you know, I want to be respectful to the Juno Awards, but because they're coming to town, you know, it's not just a bunch of people loading into an arena to, uh, to you know, pick up awards and be on TV, you know, that they're stepping into, they're stepping into a, a, a community, they're stepping into a church uh, of culture that uh, has been going on for a long, long time and they're stepping into uh, a culture that is also accompanied with a blue collar work ethic that is uh, it's a rather potent mix, you know? The energy of slaves, you know, the power of the underdog. That's what you get in Hamilton, you know? It's, it's, different. it's different than other places. This is where culture, this is where the respect for culture begins. It begins with pride, and the pride doesn't have to be uh, in, uh, in something far away. The pride uh, starts in your own neighborhood. The pride starts on your own sidewalks. And uh, I'm very proud of Hamilton's musical heritage. I'm ha happy that uh, we're able to host the Juno Awards this year. And uh, as a result, uh, this office, my, uh, my partner Madeline Wilson is putting on a show called Blame It on Hamilton, which is, is a celebration of Hamilton's musical heritage. And we're bringing in contemporary artists to sing the songs of this city. So Hoxley Workman is going to sing It's Only Make Believe by Conway Twitty. And Sarah Harmer is going to sing Under a Stormy Sky by Daniel Lanmon. Matt Anderson is coming in from the East Coast to sing uh, King Biscuit Boys, Corina, Corina, you know, Monster Truck are going to do Crowbar, Blackie and the Rodeo Kings are going to do Teenage Head, it's going to be a great night. Well, the Mystic Highway, for me it was, uh, I was being interviewed in London, England on the BBC radio and uh, the interviewer said, well, you certainly have a southern, southern influence in your sound. 
And I said, uh, what do you mean, like Southern Ontario? And he said, I don't know what you're talking about, Southern Ontario. I said, well, let me tell you, there's a highway that runs Highway 6 south out of Hamilton, and Upper James Street turns into Highway 6. And, uh, we call it the Mystic Highway. Mind you, I was just making this shit up as I went along, right? But the Mystic Highway truly is an inspiration that Hamilton looks towards rather than looking uh, into larger communities like Toronto or Montreal or Vancouver or, or LA or New York. Hamilton has its very own source of inspiration besides the ghosts of the artists that walk our streets. The Mystic Highway runs through Caledonia over the Grand River, uh, which, was, uh, which was a major artery for transportation uh, back in the day before the railroad came along. It goes by the Six Nations um, and down through tobacco fields into Port Dover. It's got this mixture of Mohawk culture meeting migrant workers who are coming up from the islands to, uh, to work in the tobacco fields. And along with that, bikers and uh, families vacationing down on Lake Erie and partiers. So you get this combination of, of cultures and people who, uh, who influence music in a very, uh, very different way. As a result, uh, we have generations of musicians coming along, working, working hard enough to be able to hang themselves on the cross that our, our past artists and musicians have built for us. Jackie Washington, Ronnie Hawkins used to hang out here, the band used to hang out here, Conway Twitty wrote its only make-believe here in Hamilton, Ontario, you know. Uh, when, when we look at that, that deep into our musical culture and, uh, like I say, the ghosts of the artists that walk these streets, I mean, uh, you know what, the bar is pretty high. There's not many bands. In fact, I can actually say there's no other band in as Teenage Head in its day. It's just the greatest rock and roll band that you'll ever see. Same with Crowbar. <laughs>